Hi guys, I'm Justin Z. I'm an independent filmmaker in Los Angeles, and I'm a freelance editor. I've been getting some basic questions on filmmaking, and this one is the documents you will need in order to make a film. Well, that varies depending on the type of film you're doing, and how much it costs, and where you're doing it. So, states like California, where shooting happens all the time, usually requires quite a bit of permits, unless you know how to follow certain conventions. So, you will first, depending on your state, need to obtain a film permit in order to film in certain places. Now, there are some times you can get away with that. There is a certain rule in California called the rule of three, where if you have three people or less filming, and as long as you're not disturbing anybody and on private property, you don't need a permit. Otherwise, you will need a permit, and most of the time, if you have a permit, you will also need insurance. And production insurance isn't always necessary if it's small enough, but if you have a permit, you'll probably need one. And it's really helpful if you have a larger crew with expensive equipment. Trust me, I've been there. Equipment goes bad and insurance saves your life. And when it comes to insurance, uh, it, the cost depends on each state and the policy and who you're working with. So do some research before you choose your insurance. You might also need contracts for your actors and crew. If you are working on a budget that has SAG actors, then of course you're going to need contracts for them. SAG, if you don't already know, is the Screen Actors Guild, which is actually now SAG-AFTRA. They are a guild that basically allows actors to have the rights to uh, fair pay and benefits, like medical benefits, and making sure that they get treated correctly on set. Um, for larger productions, it's very important that this exists. For smaller productions, like yours or mine, it's not really that necessary, and it can kind of get in the way because of how expensive unions can be. It goes the same way for crew. Just about every type of crew has a union of their own. So if you're a small set, it's probably, you probably don't want to do that. Um, but also at the same time, don't abuse your power when it comes to not having union people on your set. Treat them with respect, pay them if you can, and pay them fairly. Otherwise, contracts are good basically for liability purposes. You would have people sign your contract, say, if you have an independent film that is making no money and costs no money to make, then you have everybody sign contracts saying that they understand they're not getting paid, or their payment is deferred, or they get a certain amount of money off the top, no more, no less. Just understand that once you sign that contract, you have to fulfill it, otherwise you could get sued. So, I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask.